I'm E.G. Marshall, keeper of the establishment where we offer you a full line of spine-tingling items, the shivery best in murder, suspense, terror. And right now, you can sample our latest offering, which has to do with a return from, well, uh, let us say, a return from the beyond. They say that successful people are those who refuse to take no for an answer. They cannot be swayed by reason. They cannot be convinced by the facts. They cannot be moved by logic. They simply will not listen to anyone who says no, not even to the angel of death himself. Barney, I don't want to die. Rest, Barney. rest, darling, rest. I'm so frightened. Don't, don't be, Rachel. I'm doctor. Says I have to die. Please, please, darling. I'm so afraid to die. Shh, shh, shh. No, don't be afraid. <laughs> darling, even... Even if you die, I, I can bring you back. Barney, what, what are you saying? I'm saying I'll bring you back from the dead, darling. Believe me. I'll bring you back from the dead. <laughs> Our mystery drama, Is the Lady Dead, was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Sam Dan and stars Larry Haynes and Joan Loring. It is sponsored in part by Contact, the 12-hour cold capsule, and Anheuser-Busch Incorporated, Brewers of Budweiser. I'll be back shortly with Act One. I have absolutely no scientific proof, but it does seem to me that, in a general way, a great many people have names that appear to harmonize with their personalities. Do we, therefore, unconsciously strive to maintain the image that our names evoke? I presented this thought merely to introduce you to a gentleman named Barney Kruger. I'm sure Barney Kruger creates an image in your mind. And I'm willing to wager it's a picture of a down-to-earth, practical, two-fisted guy. And you're absolutely right. Barney Kruger is 32 years old and a self-made millionaire. He made his money by sharp, shrewd thinking. By taking nothing for granted. By digging, probing, investigating. Well, I don't give a rap about the report, Carlson. I want to verify those assets. I want to check bank statements. Investigate every officer of that corporation and start with the day he was born. Now, you know how we do things around here. Get on a plane for Chicago, Carlson, and start digging. <sighs> you want to get something done around here, you've got to do it yourself. There's no other way. Uh, Mr. No. Kruger. Oh, yes, Winters. Your mother's here. My, my mother. Oh. Oh, yes, my mother. Well... I guess, uh, I guess the time has come. Sure, we're in. Yes, sir. Thank you, Winters. Hiya, Mom. Hello. Get your drink? No, thank you. Well, this is a happy surprise. Surprise? Well, I thought you'd be in Europe at least another week, and so when you just called me just before. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I did come back ahead of schedule, didn't I? Barney? Yes, Mom? Well, something seems, uh, different. Different? What do you mean, different? Oh, I don't know. The apartment just seems different. Uh, did you have anything done? There's, there's a definite air of difference about the place. Oh, good or bad? Well, I, I'm not sure, but I, I, I rather like it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I like it. Now, tell me, dear, how was Europe? 
Oh, you know, Europe. Oh, honestly, Barney, I'm sure you've lost count of the number of times you've been to Europe in the past ten years. Oh, no, 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 I haven't, Mom. I've gone exactly 85 times. Oh. You can check my secretary. She has all the records. Oh, well, what's the difference? All you know about Europe covers some airports, hotels, restaurants, some offices, a few mines, a few mills. Mom. You never get to do anything in Europe. I mean, you don't get to do anything... European. Oh, now, look, next time, try something different. Mom, I did do something different this uh-huh. time. Don't tell me. I'll bet you bought a department store instead of a steel factory. Well, not exactly. Now, it doesn't... I got married. Married? Yes, that's right. Oh, well, congratulations, dear. Now, now, where is she? Well, she's right here, Mom. Well, well can I see her? Well, of course you can see her. It's just that I wanted to break the news to you for oh, myself. Oh, Barty, I'm so happy. I, <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, I, I can hardly believe it myself. Well, now, how long have you known her? Uh, let's see. What's today? Uh, Thursday, huh? Uh, well, it's exactly a week. A week? Yes, and what a week, Mother. And who is she? Rachel. Rachel? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Well, that's a, that's a lovely name. Uh, Rachel who? Ra- Rachel, uh... Uh, I don't know. Uh, you don't know her last name. Well, I do. I do. I did. But I, but I don't seem to remember, Mother. Well, what's the difference? She's Rachel. She's Rachel Kruger now. Well, how did you meet her? Well, it's... It's like a dream, Mom. It's just like a dream. I know. But you had to meet somewhere. Yes, well, I ran her down. You what? Well, you know, Mother, in England, they drive on the wrong side of the road. Uh, You mean you drove on the wrong side of the road? Well, I don't have any trouble with it while I'm driving straight ahead, Mother. It's when you come to a turn and you have a tendency to swing over to the right. And so we had a little collision. Barney! Yeah, well, well, no one was hurt or even scratched, Mother. But that was how we met. And so I, um, I took her to a garage to get her car fixed and then to dinner while we were waiting. And, uh, it just happened, Mother. We just fell in love. You don't believe it? Oh, I believe it, Barney. Yes, we we both knew it. And there just didn't seem to be any question about our getting married. I, I would have asked you to fly over, Mother, but time suddenly seemed so precious. We, we didn't have a minute to waste. Mm-hmm. I can't tell you how happy we are. Oh, now, don't even try. It's, it's, uh, just, uh... Just what? Well, it's... Just, this is so unlike you. The fact is, you don't even know this girl. Well, I do know her, But you don't know her parents, her background. You don't know anything about her. I know everything. Well, for instance, where was she going when your two cars collided? Uh, I never asked her. Uh-huh. That's what I mean. Well, I know everything I want to know. I, it's certainly not the way you do business. This isn't business, Mom. This is love. I never thought I'd hear you talk like that. Well, the same rules don't apply in love. All, all you've got to go on is your heart. And if you can't trust that one, well, you're in trouble, I guess. Well, Barty, look, I am all for it, and I'm all for Rachel. And when can I finally see her? Right now, Mother. You're having dinner with us. <laughs> I want to know everything about you, Rachel. Oh, it is impossible to know everything about anyone, even oneself. Are you English? No. Oh, uh, well, where were you raised? It was a very unhappy time. I, I never think about it. Oh, I'm sorry. Are your parents alive? I have none. Oh. Well, what happened? Uh, they were killed. Was it, uh, was it an ac- accident? Uh, no. Oh, please forgive me. I'm not trying to pry. I'm, I'm just curious, and it's a natural curiosity. Of course. Oh, what a perfectly magnificent ring. Well, I had to buy it in a hurry, Mother. I think it's much too large. Angel, that is a diamond. I wear it because it makes Barney happy. Well, I don't think I have ever seen him so happy in his life. It's so easy to make Barney happy. A pity he had to wait so long. Well, my dear, I think you're worth the wait. Now, time I was homeward bound. Oh, oh, Mother, must you go? It's so early. Oh, but when you're a guest of a newlywed couple, that's when your welcome wears out. Early. (laughs) Rachel, dear... I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Call me mother. Mother. 
Listen, why don't you two girls get together, go shopping, have lunch and things? Oh, don't worry, Barney. We'll arrange for all that. I'll call you tomorrow, Rachel. Goodbye, Mother. Well, I'll see you to the door, Mother. Well, Mom, what do you think? Oh, Barney, Barney. She is just wonderful. <laughs> Yes. Aren't you asleep? I, uh... What is it, honey? It's nothing. Oh, no, 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 it is something. Oh, Barney. I didn't know people could be so happy. <laughs> There's nothing to it. Just fall in love. Barney, now that I know what love is, I want to live. Rachel, what are you saying? I want to live. Of course you're going to live. I mean, why shouldn't you? You're so strong. You're so sure of yourself. You fear nothing and no one. Oh, darling, don't let anything happen to me. What are you saying? Just hold me. Hold me as if it's the very last time. Darling, what are you saying? Life is so beautiful. I just want to live. Well, you will. You will. Believe me. Yes, my darling. I believe you. Rachel. Hmm. Won't you tell me what you're talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I'm just frightened. Of what? Of what? When you want something so badly, you become scared. But you don't have to be scared of anything. I never really wanted to live until I met you. But well, why? How could anybody not want to live? Oh, there are times when... Life can be a terrible thing, and death oh, no, is only... Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going to have any more of that kind of talk. Promise? Yes. Oh, Barney. I promise. Barney! What a surprise. Hello, Mother. Uh, would you like something to eat or drink? No, no, I didn't come here for that. Oh, of course not, but every mother has to ask that question. It's part of the franchise. Mom, I'm worried. Why? Well, it has to do with, uh... Rachel. How did you know? I'm worried, too. Oh, why are you worried? It's something in her eyes. What? I don't know. Yes, I see something in her eyes, too, Mother. Something... Something that scares me, and I don't know what it is, either. I think it's a look of fear. Well, what can she be afraid of? We don't know. Actually, we don't know anything about Rachel. We love her, but we know nothing about her. Mom, Rachel is afraid of dying. Well, is she ill? Oh, the best doctors in the country can find nothing wrong with her. But I think I know what it is. What do you say, Barney? You've heard of people who died of grief... Of course. Well, why can't people also die of happiness? Barney. Mom, Rachel is dying. Something's killing uh, Barney, her. Barney, don't say that. Mom. Uh, I I'd better answer that. Hello? Mother. Oh, Rachel, dear. What? How are you? Mother, is Barney there? Uh, uh, yes. Yes, dear. I I'll put him on. Barney. Yes, thank you. Rachel. Barney, please. Come home quickly. Quickly! Barney. Darling, why didn't you call the doctor? Because... Well, I'll phone him this minute. No, no, please. Just hold me. But, Rachel... Don't leave me. Don't leave me for anything. Rachel, you need to be... No, I have everything I need. Everything I want. Right here. Right now. Oh, darling. I want to live so badly. Well, you will. Don't let me go. Don't let me go there, Barney. To that place. Please. Please, Rachel, don't talk like that. If I let go, bring me back. Oh, Rachel. You're so strong, you can do anything. You can do anything. Rachel. Promise you'll bring me back. But, Rachel. Promise. Well, I, I, I... You're different from other people. Barney, you're wonderful. I know, I know there are things you can do. Oh, Barney, promise. Why? I promise. And I'll help. I'll try as hard as I can to help. 
and the two of we two together we we can do it we can bring me back Rachel Rachel Mother is here, sir. Tell her I'll see you later. Uh, Dr. Mallory. Send Dr. Mallory away. He offered to make the arrangements, sir. Arrangements? For the funeral. I'll make the arrangements myself. That's all, Winters. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, Winters. Yes, sir. What are we having for dinner? Oh, I, I, I didn't think. I can prepare some sandwiches, sir. Oh, no, no, no. Mrs. Kruger doesn't like sandwiches. Do we have any lamb chops? Yes, sir. Well, I'll have mine rare, as usual, and Mrs. Kruger likes hers medium. Oh, no, sir. Your mother likes hers well done. I'm not talking about my mother. I'm talking about my wife. Your wife? As you know, Winters, there's an exact science to making chops medium. She likes them exactly between rare and well done. But Mrs. Kruger is, uh... Yes, Winters? Mrs. Kruger is what? Uh, nothing, sir. Nothing at all. There may be an exact science to broiling lamb chops, but you must admit there's a fine art to being a rich man's butler. And so Winters departs to instruct the cook to prepare a very special dinner. A dinner for two people, one of whom is alive, the other dead. And we'll be back after dessert when I return with Act Two. Death is always the final answer, and death always has the last word. But not for Barney Kruger. Rachel is dead. There is absolutely no question about that. But evidently, Barney Kruger will not accept it. Before you dismiss Barney Kruger as a psychotic or a kook, remember, this is the same Barney Kruger whose reputation for hard-headed practicality is respected throughout the business community. Mrs. Kruger. Yes, Winters. Is my son. I don't know what to say, Mrs. Kruger. He, uh... He ordered dinner for himself and for, uh... For, for whom? Uh, for her. What are you saying, Winters? Mrs. Kruger, I, I'm very much aware of what I'm saying. But surely he knows. Yes, ma'am, he knows. But still, he ordered... I see. Oh, I... I'm not sure of what to do. I was wondering if you had a suggestion. Yes, Winters. Serve the dinner. Barney? Come in, Mother. Sit down. Uh, have you had anything to eat? Oh, yes, yes. Fine. Everything's fine. Well, Winters, uh... Winters told me Do you want to look at Rachel, Mother? She's even more beautiful than... than, uh... Yes, Barney. Now, we have to make certain arrangements. You know that, don't you? You know, she came into my life so suddenly, Mother. And so suddenly she left it. Barney... I can't believe that. I won't believe it. Barney... The ring... No, no, I won't believe it. You, you, You really don't intend to bury her with the ring. Bury her? Oh, yes, Barney. We have to make arrangements. We No, we, we won't do any such thing. We'll bury her ourselves. Barney. No one must ever touch her mother except the people who love her. Will you help me? Well, I... Just the two of us. We'll see Rachel to her grave. Uh, 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 Barney, now you really shouldn't bury her with a ring. Why not? Because the ring is worth a... That diamond is worth well, a... Yes, lo- I know. Rachel said it herself. It's worth the queen's ransom. Well, it may sound rather hard and unfeeling, but what can that ring mean to her now? Oh, everything, Mother. But I don't think... It means... 
It means that I believe she's still my wife. Yes, of course. And she... it means I haven't given up hope. Hope? Of what? Well, as long as she wears that ring, I could... We, we you... can... Can what? We can bring her back. Bring her back? Yes, Mother, bring her back. Barney, the age of miracles is past. Oh, no, no, it hasn't. It's still here. Barney. You want to see a miracle? You want to see one? Come Barney. Bar no, 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 Mom, I mean that. Come here. Where, where? Just look. Look in that mirror. Well, why do you want me to look in the mirror? So you can see a miracle. But, uh, I don't you, think... You, you are the miracle, Mother. What, are you what, what did it say about you in the Sunday paper, Mom? I, I, I don't remember. Well, I remember. I memorized it. I was so proud of it. Mrs. Elwood Kruger, the acknowledged social leader of the city, stunningly attractive, impeccably groomed, was hostess at the reception for the senator. Barney, darling, look, I, I don't... You don't what, Mother? You don't remember? You don't remember how it was when I was a little kid? You don't remember that my father was a hopeless drunk? Look, Barney... And how you washed dishes in an all-night hash joint so you could support the three of us? And when he died in a charity ward... You were thankful because it meant one less mouth to feed. Barney, why I you... looked at you, Ma, every day. You were ready to drop dead from exhaustion, and I said, I'm going to make a great lady out of my mother. And when I was five years old, I started selling papers. Barney, this is not what we're... It is, it is, Mom. It is what we're talking about. Who were you, Ma? What were you? You were just a poor girl with no education, no training. Look at what I made possible. I realize, Barney, I Just know. look in the mirror. Look at you now. Stunning, socially prominent Mrs. Elwood Kruger. You eat lunch with senators. You've had dinner at the White House. Now look in the mirror and tell me what you see. A miracle. Withers. Yes, sir? It's very cold in here. But Mr. Kruger, the thermostat is way up. Well, Mrs. Kruger is feeling chilled. Mrs. Kruger? Yes, and, uh... Bring her some of that brandy I brought back from Paris. Uh, sir, may may I say something? What? I, I, well, there's no other way to say it than to say it. Sir, Mrs. Kruger isn't here. I'm aware of that, Winters. You buried... Uh, her funeral was this afternoon. Yes. Then... Then you have to admit what? What do I have to admit? You have to admit... You have to admit she's dead. Yes, yes, Winters. She's dead. For now. For now? Yes, for now. Winters, huh? I'd like to ask you something. Yes, sir. I uh, need a man to work for me without asking a lot of questions who believes in what I tell him. A man who's with me. Do you follow this? Yes, sir. Till now, that man has been you, Winters. Yes, sir. So, my question. Is that man still you? Yes, sir. That man is still me. Well, you have to believe with me, Winters. Understand? I, I, I think so, sir. Fine. Bring Mrs. Kruger her brandy. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, will Mrs. Kruger want anything else? I don't think so. Yes, sir. Thanks again. Rachel. Rachel, I want to help you. I'm trying. I'm trying as hard as I can. Rachel. Rachel. I'm very much concerned, Mr. Kruger. Uh, Mr. Kruger? Hmm? Oh. Uh, about what? Carson. Well, the amount of our investment, we're dipping very deeply into reserve capital. Well, that's what reserve capital's for, isn't it? That's why we're getting on a plane for, Ch for Chicago to see, see if we... Uh... Yes, yes, go on. So we're going to Chicago shh, to see... If... Shh, shh, shh. Don't talk. No. No, I guess I'm hearing things. Well, now I have all the information you need about Henley. Henley? What, what do you mean, Henley? How did you know about Henley? How do I know? Uh, Mr. Kruger. That's why we're going to Chicago to acquire Jason Henley and company. Oh, oh yes, Henley. That, that... Rachel? Rachel? Ra Rachel? 
Where are you? Uh, Mr. Kruger, who are you looking I'll, for? I'll, I'll, I'll see you, you later. But but our plane leaves for Chicago. She, she was just, just here. She, now, she can't have gone far. But Mr. Kruger, we have to get on that plane. You get on the plane. You go. But you're the one that has to examine the asset. Well, you do it, Carlson. But you have to make a decision by tonight. You make the decision. You go there and you make it. Mr. Kruger. Mr. Kruger, where are you going? <laughs> Mr. Kruger, what happened? You, you look exhausted. Yeah, yeah. I guess I, I guess I am. What is? I thought I, I heard, heard the. Uh, I, I saw. I saw. I, I ran. What is? I ran. I ran around for hours, trying, trying, just trying. I know why. It, it, it's because, it's because this would have been our anniversary, our first anniversary. Yes, sir. I know that, sir. I took the liberty of opening this bottle of champagne. And, uh, I brought two glasses. Oh, thank you, Willis. Thank you. Good night, sir. Yes. I thought I... thought I did it, Rachel. I thought I did it today. I thought I brought you back. I thought I heard you. But I'll keep trying. I'll, I'll keep trying. I'll never stop trying, Rachel. Oh, Rachel... Rachel, I can see us so clearly that day, that crazy day I ran into you. And you were so frightened at first. You were so scared. It was, it was all I could do to get you to tell me your name. And I, I kept asking, what's your name? What's your name? And you just kept staring at me. And your eyes were so big. And finally, you said... My name is Rachel. Rachel. That's a very pretty name. What's yours? Barney. Barney? I like the sound of that. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about the car. Oh, I don't mind. I never liked this car anyhow. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do, Rachel. I'll have it fixed. No, 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 no. I won't have it fixed. I'll buy you a new one. <laughs> Are you that rich? Oh, I'm fabulously wealthy. But, but don't hold it against me. <laughs> do you know you really... You really are a very nice person. How can you tell? I learned how to recognize good people. It was very important for me to know that at one time. Rachel, do you want to hear something crazy? <laughs> Nothing is really crazy when you think about it for a while. No, no, no. This is the wildest thing you'll ever hear. What is it? Here I am, an American, driving through a place called Henley just outside of London. I hit a car some girl is driving, and we stopped to talk. And ten minutes later, I find out I'm in love with this girl. All I know about her is her name. Her name, Rachel. Now, go ahead. Tell me I'm not crazy. Hmm. Perhaps we're both crazy. All I know about you is your name, Barney. And I love you. Rachel. Rachel, you're here. I'm here. It's, it's you. It's really you. It's not my imagination. Put your arms around me, darling. And, and the ring, your wedding ring. You're wearing the ring. Oh. You, you couldn't be wearing the ring if it weren't really you, Rachel. Oh, Barney, you did it. You brought me back. Yes, yes, yes. You're back. You're back. That's all I have to know. You're back. <laughs> It all shows what can happen when you're in the habit of saying no. But is she back? Is it possible? You remember the story of Orpheus? He went to the land of the dead to reclaim his lost bride. He almost succeeded, too. However, there was a little detail he forgot about. I won't forget to return shortly with Act Three. part of the culture of our country. We raise the kids on slogans like, never say die, don't give up the ship. 
and when threatened with annihilation by a numerically superior enemy, didn't an American general earn immortality by simply answering, nuts? Barney Kruger took it all seriously. He believed he could attain any goal he set out to reach. He's even brought his wife back from the dead. Barney, I knew you would do it for me. I knew you would do it. Oh, Rachel, I can hardly believe it. Everything in the room, it's exactly the same. Exactly. Yes, yes, I didn't touch anything. Nobody touched anything. Everything is here, you see? Just as I left. Yes, your clothes, all your things. E even the book you were reading, darling. Oh. Look, look, it's still open to the same page. That's why I could come back, Barney, because everything that's me is here. Oh, you were never gone, Rachel, never. Keep me here, Barney. Keep me here. Yes, I will, I will. I, I just wish I knew how. But you know how. You know. Hey, excuse me, sir. I, uh, I, I thought... I thought I heard you talking Withers. here. Winter, Winters, look, it's huh? Mrs. Kruger. See, dear, it's Winters. You always liked Winters. Is, isn't that just great, Winters? She's back. Uh-oh. Uh uh-uh. Yes, sir. Barney. Mom. Well, what's the sensational surprise? I hope you're hungry. Oh, of course I am. Am I late for lunch? Oh, you'll remember this lunch as long as you live. Well, uh, I see the table set for three. Who is your guest? Oh, no, no guest, Mom. It's all family. Family? Mom, I had a problem. Oh, are you asking me to help? Yes, yes. Well? Well, I, uh, I didn't realize how complicated a thing like this would be. You see, after all, legally, she is dead and, uh... And what? And there was a death certificate, a, a burial, and, uh... Well, how can I account for the fact... Barney, what are you trying to say? Mom, how, how, how do I, uh... Re reintroduce her in, into the world? Barney, are you all right? Mom, Mom, she's back. Who? Who do you think, Rachel? Barney, I... I... did it, Mom, I did it. I made the miracle. I made it happen. No, Barney. Wait, wait. Just wait. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see with your own eyes. Now, wait. Now, Barney, please. Wait, 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 Mom. Wait. Rachel? Rachel, Mother's here. It's time for lunch. Well, Mother? Mom, come on now. I know it's a shock, but here she is. Here? Who is? Rachel? Rachel? Well, can't you say anything? Barney. You mean you can just stand there and not do anything, Mother? Barney, I, I don't know what Well, to... a, a normal person would, would, would put her arms around... Barney. Please, Mother. You, you, you claim you don't see, oh, Rachel? Oh, Barney, my son. Now, just a minute. Win Winters. Winters, come in here. Uh, Barney, let me call. Wait, Mother. Winters. Uh, yes, sir. Winters, how many people are here in this room? How many, uh, how many people, sir? Yes, you heard me. There's you, my mother, myself, and... And? And my wife. Ah. Yes, sir. Yes, Winters. Sir. That'll be all, Winters. Yes, sir. Well... That man worships you, Barney. He'd lay down his life for you. He'd swear on well, the Bible. What do you say now? Huh? I say that Winters is wrong to help you perpetuate this... This fantasy. Oh, is that what it is? Barney, please let me call... A, do a doctor, huh? Naturally. But what else? You say you don't see Rachel. Rachel huh? is... I didn't ask you that. I asked you if you see Rachel. No, Barney, I don't see Rachel. I believe you. Well, then... You don't, you don't see any woman as a part of my life, oh, mother. Oh, Barney. You know, it's a funny thing, Ma, now that I look back on it. You never really wanted me to get married. No. Oh, sure, sure, you always said so. And you encouraged me to meet this one or that one or the other one. But that was just the paint on the top, Mom. Somehow or other, you'd always top me off at the last minute. Now, Barney, why would because I... Because you wanted me all for yourself. <gasps> Barney! Papa's been dead 25 years. You never went out with another guy once. Oh, why? Barney, I... Even today, hundreds of men, guys who are really up there, too, they all go for you, Mother. How come you never even look at anybody? Barney, this is not the time. You wanted me all to yourself, and you still want it that way. That's why you don't see Rachel. But she is not Rachel. Rachel, say hello to Mother. Hello, Mother. She's not here, huh? 
Who just spoke? Who's standing right next to me? Barney, what do you want me to say? It isn't as if you were a little boy and we can play little games together. I'm not, I'm not. You're a little boy anymore, Mother. I'm, and I'm on my own. And, and there's another woman in my life. Barney, please. I want you to face reality. Mom, she's not throwing you out. She's not taking your place. She's what... She's what another part of me needs. Now, please, Mom. Just take her in your arms, huh? And tell her she's welcome. She's your daughter. What do you want, Carlson? This is the first time you've been to the office and we... Is that so? I've had to make a lot of judgments. Well, that's what you get paid for. But if I'm wrong, we, we, we can go broke. Oh, come on now. Lay everything on the table and I'll straighten it out. Well, the Midwest merger... Well, I, I... The Midwest merger? Well, I'll tell you what I've decided. I've been juggling all the facts. And now that I think about it... Yes? Now that I, now that I think about it... Uh, just a minute. Now, the option expires this afternoon... We really have to move quickly. Just, just, just a minute, please. Darling. Hello. I miss you, Barney. Yes, I miss you, too. I need you to keep me here. Don't stay away from me, Barney. No, I won't. I need all of your faith, all of your strength, all of your will. Darling, you've got it. I need you to hold me, Barney. Yes, yes. Hurry back to me, darling. Hurry before I slip away again. No, no, no. Don't do that. I'll be right there. Hurry, Barney. Hurry. I'll see you, Carlson. Where are you going? I have an important date. Mr. Kruger, we are going broke. Can't you understand? I need half a million dollars to cover an option this afternoon. We don't have... Well, don't bother me with details. And unless you raise another 500000 by Wednesday morning... All right, we... all right, I'll raise it. But I Is don't there anything see when else? you can raise... Just leave it to me. Oh. Please. Now, I'm going home, and I don't want anybody to disturb me. Barney. Hmm? Do you ever get tired of me? After the life you led before? Now, what kind of life did I lead before? Well, you went everywhere. Well, we go everywhere, the two of us. Even if we never leave the house, we sit here together and... Oh, uh... Barney, I hope I'm enough for you. No, 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 we don't need that kind of talk. Because I'll have to be enough for you. I'll need you with me all the time. <laughs> Tell my son I wish to see him, Winters. I am sorry, ma'am, but he refuses to see anyone. Now, don't you take that tone with me. I'm his mother. I, I said I was sorry, ma'am. Uh, I'll have to ask you to leave. You will have to throw me out. Winters, what's... Oh. That'll be all, Winters. Yes, sir. Barney, I must talk to you. What's there to talk about? Mother? Barney, this newspaper. Read it. I don't care about it. Just read it. The incredible collapse of the Kruger Enterprises. The disappearance of Barney Kruger from the command post is the possible cause you of... You see, the... you're broke. You don't have money to throw around anymore. You know, if you had that ring right now... Now, Mother, I don't want to hear anymore. If you had that ring, you could hold off some creditors, buy some time... Will you let me alone? The world won't let you alone. Now, you won't be able to keep this house... Mother, I don't want to hear any more. Don't you say that you don't care. This is a conceit of yours. But it takes money to maintain now, Mother, it. Mother, I think you've said enough. Now, do you want to say hello to Rachel before you leave? Barney, there is no Rachel. You and I saw her placed in her grave. Rachel is dead. No! Rachel's right oh, here. Oh, Barney. Please, let it be over. Whatever it is or was that raged through you like a fever, let it be over. Come back into the world. Come back where you belong. Well, I belong with Rachel. Goodbye, Mother. Oh, you're... You're like your father. He was a man who was intoxicated by liquor and it destroyed him. And you're... You're intoxicated by Rachel. Mother. By a dead Rachel. And she will destroy you, too. I won't hear any more. <laughs> Barney, hold me. I can't be broke. I can't be. Hold me, Barney. You know, I'm crazy. I must be going crazy. Hold me, Barney. Kiss me. What? Hold you? 
Hold me. But, Rachel... But what, Barney? Hold me. I need all of you to hold me. Put your arms around me. But, but Rachel, you're... you're, you're, uh... I'm what, Barney? You're dead. What did you say? You're, You're... You're dead. Oh... Yes. Now I'm dead. But if you're dead, why... Why do I see you so clearly? Because all of your strength hasn't left me yet. It's going. And soon I won't... Rachel. Rachel, are you here? No. Barney, you couldn't keep me here. You weren't strong enough. You don't want me badly enough. Ra- Rachel, you, you're becoming dim, Rachel. I'm no longer your wife. Here. Your ring. No. Take your ring. No, 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 no. I don't want that. I don't want it. You didn't believe the miracle. Ra- Rachel, don't go. I, I Don't go. I believe, Rachel. I do believe. Goodbye, Bonnie. Goodbye. Ra- Rachel? Ra- Rachel? Barney. Mother, she was here. She was here. She's been here Barney, in this room Barney, all the time. Barney, sit down. Huh? Now, have Winters get you something. No, she was here, Mother. You know. Barney. You know she was here. It's time that we face certain facts. Now, you know that Rachel has... <gasps> Barney. Look. Look. What, what's that lying on the floor? Well, it... Mother. Mother. It's the rain. And there it was, gleaming on the floor. A huge diamond ring. The gift of Barney to Rachel. The ring that was buried with her when she died. And you can believe that she returned to the grave and left the ring to release him from their marriage vow. You can believe that. But if you're one of those practical two plus two must equal four people, we have another alternative. I'll be back shortly. Rachel come back from the dead and leave the ring? An explanation that might satisfy some of the more literal-minded among us is that realizing how strapped he was becoming financially, Barney may have paid a visit to the grave and removed it himself. After all, it was his ring. It goes to prove that we have a denouement to satisfy every taste. Our cast included Larry Haynes, Joan Loring, Ann Petoniak, and Leon Janney. The entire production was under the direction of Hyman Brown. And now, a preview of our next tale. Well, it's our thinking that's wrong. That's what Mildred said. So when she had a pain, she she changed her thinking. (laughs) Sounds so simple. Yeah, for her it was. Matthew... I want your permission to do an autopsy on your dead wife. An autopsy? Yeah. I want to have her body exhumed and do an autopsy. Well, will they let you do that? With your permission. I think I can get her father's. Yes, but what excuse will you give? Oh, that there's a possibility she was, well, maybe ill, maybe incapacitated before the truck hit her, something like that. Do I have your permission, Matthew? Well, I... Hester, should I say yes? Well, I think you should. But look at it this way. It'll be the first autopsy ever performed on a known witch. Radio Mystery Theater was sponsored in part by Buick Motor Division. This is E.G. Marshall inviting you to return to our mystery theater for another adventure in the macabre. Until next time, pleasant dreams. <laughs> <laughs> 